okay so right now I'm gonna demonstrate to you one of the product that coming with our LT SDK which is LT analyzer but we are not going to demonstrate all the features yet because it's kind of a new prototype but don't worry because we will demonstrate uh, one or two of the main feature of this analyzer basically this analyzer will be used to analyze the LTE signal previously generated by the SDK uh, but before we can use this analyzer, we have to choose the data output to be fetched as an input for this analyzer. So let's get to it. You, the first thing that you have to do is click the set path button and then navigate yourself through the bin directory of the LTSDK and choose uh, the output directory. By default, the installation directory was in C program files, LTE framework, but if you use 64 bit operating system, it will be located in the program files x86 folder so let's click this folder and find the LTE framework okay and then you will find the bin directory and if you successfully executed the LTE SDK previously there will be an output folder so let's just click this output and then choose OK and then after that, you have to choose which frame and subframe that you want to analyze. So let's say right now I want to analyze the first frame, which is index 0. And I want to analyze also all the subframe. So it means that I have to set the subframe max index into 9. Okay. And then I will choose what analyzer mode I want. So if I was, let's say if I want to analyze the power spectral density, I will choose this PSD option and then choose the bandwidth mode. Let's say I want to 10 megahertz and then click draw. And then let's just wait for the analyzer to work. Okay. So this, this is uh, the power spectral density of the LTE in the 10 megahertz bandwidth in the first frame and you can see this is the correct power spectral density for the LTE 4G release 9 so this is a single frame power spectral density for the LTE 4G but you, if you want to analyze just a single subframe you can choose this subframe maximum the same as the minimum so let's say I want to analyze the first subframe let's just select the subframe minimum index into 0 and choose the subframe max into 0 too and then click draw ok so this is the first subframe plotted like also if you want to analyze the last subframe let's just fill this subframe minimum into the last index which is 9 and do it too with the subframe max index just hit the number 9 and then click draw so this is uh, the, the last subframe of the first frame a short looks like so the next thing that I want to demonstrate is the two dimension resource allocation map to enable this mode you have to select two dimensions resource allocation and then you have to set back the minimum subframe index to 0 now it means that we want to analyze the resource allocation map for all of the subframes in the first frame so let's just click draw and let the analyzer work so here we go this is the two dimensional resource allocation for the first frame and for this vertical axis this is the frequency domains of the map and the for horizontal axis this is the time domain and you can see there is a red dot section this is the cell rs0 and then for the orange block this is a pbch channel so here we go so if you want to analyze more detail about let's say the pbch channel you can just show the pbch subframe into this plot so i will make this subframe a smaller so I have to set the subframe maximum value to let's say just 2 and then click draw yes and then you have 
you will have a better view about the PBCH block in the res resource allocation map. If you still want more detailed view of the maybe this this block, you can just reduce the subframe max value in here, hit the zero, and just just kick draw, and you have the full view of the first subframe of the first frame. Now you can see that the PBCH channel positioned in uh, symbols of OFDM number 9 and also 10. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of our LC Analyzer first demonstration guide. And thank you for watching.